Welcome guys. In this NX Camp tutorial, we will cover milling and turning example. So in this tutorial, we will take you through the process of creating a multiple spindle mill turn program. So there will be a main spindle and a sub spindle. We will define the setup, create turning, milling, and drilling operations, and manage the in process workpiece as it passes from one spindle to the other. So the workflow consists of three parts, right? The first one is setup. How you set up the part for the main spindle. So you need to include the stock, stock which is a blank. It could be from casting, forging, or a bar start. Then we need to define the part. We need to define the program, and we need to define the output. So once you have the model file into the layout, the next thing you need to do is go to File, New. So once you hit the file and new, you'll have a window pop up. This is the window you see on the screen. So new, you're gonna cursor it over to manufacturing tab. Okay, so pick this tab, manufacturing tab. You'll have a uh, different options: general setup, die mold, turning, machinery, multi-axis, mill turn, simulation. Now you're gonna click the mill turn. Alright, so once you have the part in there, analyze the part for setup, for programming output then what kind of uh, template you need you need, you need a milton template the reason being is the part that you have have features that need a drilling milling turning in all to complete the complete part so now what you do is select this then hit ok it's important guys understand the units for the part given it could be in a metric it, be, it could be in inches uh, standard so uh, analyze the part use the, um, the one of the menu option here to go and pull the analyze uh, ribbon bar go and find out the diameter go and find the length then you select the the units accordingly so once you go and pick the manufacturing tab Milton express this is the window you will get right this one of the part given by in Siemens to give you a how to go through the Milton express right so now you got the part you got the training milling that need to be done now go back to the left hand side Hit the right and uh, hit the right mouse button do the expand all once you expand all you see a different icons already set up for you again you want to go and uh, put a new object it's such an easy thing i covered in a lot of tutorials before you can look at the tutorials via the old ones or i will tell you how to create just click the, the main one the parent object go to create geometry you can create any type of geometry you want if you have Milton Express that's your uh, template what do you need MCS main spindle you need a workpiece you need a turning workpiece right so all these things your containment boundary all those things are given for you can pick whatever you want you can pick and choose you will drop below that so now you want to set up a this setup right here defines a hierarchy of geometry groups that will allow you to specify the geometry and the parameters that are commonly used throughout the program right once you set up the template right guys you'll now have a problem down the line right so do the setup right fundamental foundation set it right the, uh, the organization of the machine coding system the mcs which will contain the turning milling and hole making operations is really important how do you set it up right so the data mc is this, the mcs machine coding system that's the parent object every one of the uh, child object will be underneath it so you can see it this is the MCS. Below that workpiece main, main spindle turning, avoidance geometry, MCS mill. This for this milling operations all done in the main spindle. The hole making operations all comes under the MCS. They will be going into the done in the main spindle. The turning workpiece in the main spindle. Now for the MCS sub spindle, your Z will be 180 opposite of what you have the Z in the MCS. Now you do the same thing. So now let's go back at the machine tool view. Do the expand all. How many stations are defined already? We got one, two. Station one got a one day tool, right? All right. So now what you got in the okay, 55. It's defined for you. So basically, the, the left hand side, you're seeing the turret, right? It's simulating a turret with several stations. Common turning tools have been already defined 
by the setup itself once you go like i told you once you go to the manufacturing tab and pick up the milton express i will uh, put in all the models that you needed to simulate the toolpath along with the tutorials in the link given in the tutorial the assembly the framework is being done now So you want to change it and change the clearance angle, the change the geometry of the tool. Go and do the right click, edit. Pull it out and see what you got. Okay, is that what you want? No serious orient angle. It's all to your liking. Tracking was uh, the tip of the, the program code output, CNC code output is going to be output at the right of the tip of the tool. So if you want to do it to center of the tool, uh, tool no, no serious programming, it's different. You can, um, if you want, you can change it. Uh, this most of the common tools out there, that's what it's programmed to the, the tool tip. Okay, cancel it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define the geometry in this task. So you'll uh, create a subspindle assembly. So we'll define the MCS, define the part, blank geometry on the main spindle, and also the defined and blank, define the part and black blank geometry on the subspindle. So whenever I do the right, right, right click fit, so what we're gonna do is now choose the Okay, now we need to add a part to define the subspindle child objects. So everything will be go underneath the subspindle. So what we need to do is we need to add a one more iteration of the same component. So go to add the assembly tab. Go to add. So pull the the same part one more time. Go into how do how do you want to add it into the the current part, right? So go to move. Hit OK. So what you want to do is you need the subsequent part to stay away 100 100 millimeter from the main part so now you got the subspindle part to put in the subspindle defined so the your subspindle in your machine tool is more than 100 millimeters away from the main face of the main spindle right you can move it as per you want you, you can be 300 millimeter you can be 500 millimeter or you can be 150 millimeter so Find out uh, how it's uh, the length between the main and sub spindle. Hit OK. So now it's time to define the sub spindle part, right? So now just go back and see how you want the orientation all defined, right? Is that right? So all the things are done on the main spindle. Sub will be taken this way. That sounds right. Okay. Now you go, let's go back and go to the geometry tab. So let's go and uh, specify what I would need to do to define the MCS and sub. Uh, so now we got the sub spindle part pulled into the layout. Now it's time to put the, the part, define the part into the sub spindle for the MCS. That's right here. Okay, right click edit. Okay, where do you want the MCS, machine coordinate system for your subspindle? Sometimes people do that. The, the front face of the part as the, the datum coordinate system for the subspindle. Somebody will put it in the, the chuck where the part will be located on. So if this is chuck right here, so right here they will put it in. You will select that. The back face of the part on the main spindle. Okay. So that means like uh, when we go and clean up the face, we need to know how much we're going to take off. Let's select a plane specify this is the Z and X axis. Be, make sure that this is what you selected. This is what the tool path will be created upon. Z and X plane. Okay, now we're gonna do put that MCS right here too. From here, right? So go back and select entire assembly. What you need. So MCS to be right. So now that's uh, 